Probably the best thing that I've gotten thrifting. All right, why is this so close to my face? So as you can tell, I just got up. It is Saturday. I am currently home alone. Well, with this girl. I think I was definitely on the verge of just not doing anything and staying in my bed the entire day. But I really, really want to prove myself that I have self-discipline and not let the sadness of my breakup get to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking you with me. You're welcome. There are a lot of things that I want to do and they're all packed up in my brain. And so before I do my morning routine, I just want to like write them all out and get them out of my head so that I can just focus on figuring out when in the day I'm going to be doing those different things. And so I'm going to do that right now. Kaya, no eating the mic. All right, I think that is everything. So. Let's see how much we actually get done today. Namaste. Oh gosh. Let's go make some breakfast. So for breakfast today, I'm going to be making a three ingredient pancake. I'm going to show you how I make it. I am kind of lazy and I really want my pancake to be really smooth. And so I'm gonna be using a blender to blend this all together. But essentially all you need is a ripe banana. So we have that. The ratio is typically two eggs. Another thing that is actually pretty optional is just adding some all purpose flour to like give the pancake some um, all you have to do now is blend that together, butter up or oil your pan. We're gonna make some pancakes. It looks burnt, but it's not. It's just the way the banana cooks. <laughs> I feel like I spent much more time than I thought I would uh, editing my Miracle Morning video, but I feel like it's done and I'm going to let it go. If it's imperfect, it's okay. So I hope you all like it. It's different than the other content that I usually put up. Uh, it's definitely much more like artsy, but I really had fun making it. Now I'm going to upload this video and then I'm going to grab some lunch. I think I'm hungry. I'm gonna trust my body, so I'm gonna go do that. Currently 5, 10 p.m. now. I've just been spending a bunch of time brainstorming different content and kind of figuring out when to post it and how I'm going to film. Just for some background, I was scrolling through TikTok and because I am a content creator, a lot of different posts that are relevant to content creators popped up. And so there's this woman that posted something about Instagram algorithms and how she was able to turn one of the brands that she's working for from like 200 followers to like over 10K followers. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna challenge myself and just like experiment and see if that actually works. Here is the formula. And as you can tell, it is a lot of posts. And so what I'm trying to do is get as many posts that I can created this weekend so that next week while I'm working, I don't have to stress about any content creation. And it's honestly really fun to kind of brainstorm and like force myself to think creatively about things that might help you guys. So if you have any suggestions too of what different reels, TikToks, and videos I can make, please comment them down below. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little break, drink some water before I film even more videos. I just filmed 15 TikTok slash reels. I feel tired. <laughs> Props to all the full-time content creators out there because, dang. As you can tell, I changed my top. So my strategy is essentially creating different series. So the first series is LinkedIn Tips with Julia. The second is Things You Should Know Before Designing Your UX Portfolio, which talks about the different things that Lily and I talked about in the Portfolio Misconceptions videos. So tune in for that. But I'm really excited. I feel like I'm getting my shit together, which is really nice. Um, and my parents just got home and I think we're having dim sum for dinner, which I'm really excited about. I also wanted to give you all an update of how I'm doing with my Facebook design internship. 
I have truly just been really involved in like, you know, doing heads down work. I have to be incredibly cautious when it comes to talking about the work that I'm doing there. I kind of wanted to practice, I guess, talking about things by talking about my experience with my friends. And so I, I think I've gotten the hang of like censoring my language uh, because NDAs. So basically I feel incredibly incredibly grateful because the intern manager I got is amazing. My two peers are freaking cool. They all are people that I look up to so much. The relationship that I have with my collaborators is like the feeling you get when you are in school and you have to be put into a group and like you don't know what group you're going to be paired in because the teacher chooses and you just happen to be paired with your really good friends that happen to be extremely competent and really good at what they're doing. That's how I feel like when I work with them and it's just like amazing. Brad, Connor, and Jeff, if you're listening to this, welcome to my channel. I just finished my third week in this internship and I feel like I've learned so much. I feel like I've learned a crap ton of stuff about how design, how product design works in the tech industry, if that makes sense. And just talking to these people who are so passionate about what they're doing and so respectful of each other. Like the first week, like most internships was onboarding and I have so much respect for whoever organized the onboarding for us interns because it was a lot of information, but I feel like they literally made this platform for onboarding, which I think is so wild because it was beautifully designed. Also, when it came to like company policies and stuff like that, the illustrations were so diverse. It made me so happy and it just has set such a high, I don't know, high bar for me when it comes to doing onboarding tasks. And so the first week flew by because it was just basically me going through a bunch of different onboarding videos, understanding how my computer works, how the internal you know, systems work, etc. And so the second week I was just really focusing on my intern starter project. Essentially we're assigned two starter projects and like a really big project. I managed to finish my two starter projects within a week or week and a half. And so I'm ahead of schedule, which is a really good thing. But I also feel like I'm just like going hundred miles per hour because I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is like the best thing in the world. And I just don't want to stop working, which is kind of bad because I'm trying to maintain that work-life balance. Something that I was talking to with my really close friends Regina and Megan was that I'm a little bit worried because now that I am not in a relationship I feel like after work all I do now is just want to work again which is not necessarily a bad thing but I don't want my life to revolve around work. I'm trying to be disciplined and like really stop work after a certain time like 6 p.m. do something that brings me joy but is also productive so right now what that is is like editing videos or creating content for me which I think is a good I was gonna say distraction but I feel like it's a good hobby to have because it's like such a huge part of me. I think that that's something too that I didn't really do as much as I wanted while I was still in a relationship. So I've just been doing that. I am so blessed with the people that I have. I think the other thing too that I didn't expect was like everyone treats each other like they're equal. You'd think that that's like the norm for different companies, but trust me, it's not. I've been in jobs where people just like love power and just like talk down to you like you were an intern. I think what I really respect about the people that I work with is that they treat me like I'm already working there uh, as a full-time designer and it makes me feel really valued. It makes me feel like they want to hear what I have to say and it doesn't make me afraid or intimidated. And it's just such an empowering remote internship. I'm so happy about it. That's a little bit of an update for you all. I'm really happy with the things that I was able to accomplish today. I have three more things things in my to-do list. The first is to create this felt friend. The next is upload some vlog media, which is this media, so I can't really do that until I'm done. And the third is read. I am really itching to read some fiction because, you know, in my morning routine, as I said, I like reading self-help books, but at night I feel like I'm in for like I'm like down for a fiction book. My best friend Clara recommended to me 
the song of that? No. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Quick hack for you all if you don't already know. If you have a library card, you can sign up for Libby, which is essentially a place where if you have a library card, you input your information and you can have access to ebooks and audiobooks. And I freaking love it. I managed to borrow the audiobook and the ebook of The Song of Achilles, and that makes me really happy because sometimes I just want a narrator to help me go through things. You know, I'm going to listen to my book while I schedule my posts for this week. So I just finished eating dinner. My hair felt kind of greasy, so I was just like, okay, let me put some dry shampoo on it. And so now I have like a beehive. <laughs> my face looks like a square. I'm feeling kind of tired. It's 8.30. No, just kidding. It's 9 p.m. now. We watched a basketball game against Milwaukee in Brooklyn. I am definitely not a basketball person. I kind of just, I'm not against it, but I also don't really follow it. So I just get really hyped in the current game, you know? And this game was so stressful. I feel like watching basketball games is like an exercise to help test your resilience against anxiety. So, just some random thoughts you didn't ask for. All done. Excuse the list for the rest of this video. Story time. When I was younger, before I had braces, I also had retainers. And I'm still trying to understand why I had retainers before braces, only to get retainers again. I had awful teeth when I was younger. I feel really bad for my parents, like, having to pay a shit ton of money for braces. Because now, like, you can- those at-home kits that, like, don't cost as much. Uh, braces were such a pain in the butt. I don't really know what the moral of that story was, but because I knew how much of an investment braces were, I am so paranoid if I don't wear my retainer. So that's why I have it on. Now I'm going to be finishing the last to-do list items on my checklist. And the first is reading. The second is making this felt cactus. Fun fact. This was actually supposed to be for an intern activity that I ended up missing because my best friend and I were watching High School Musical the Musical the series. I kind of missed that opportune time to do it with other people and so I'm going to do it with you all. The reason why I got this is because I am going to have a baby niece. My brother and his wife are pregnant. Sex of the baby is female. I'm just really excited and I haven't really thought about, you know, what to do as an aunt, like what gifts to give her. And so when this came up, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make her this. This will be so cute because her father, my brother, loves plants. And I thought, you know, a plant she can play with. That might be nice. Hoping I can figure this out. This took me so freaking long. I didn't understand the concept of this material and all you have to do is just like poke it. Like poke it really, really hard. Stab it basically so that it stays in shape, which is wild. I feel like this would be really good for people who need to take out their anger. It is 12.48 a.m. and I've only gotten this far. It's supposed to take like five minutes and it took me probably three hours. Two hours and 37 minutes into it. I've been listening to my audiobook. Kind of disappointed in myself. I feel really happy that I got to accomplish basically everything in my to-do list. I, I didn't complete this but i did start it thank you so much for joining me in my productive saturday i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you want more of these day-to-day -day vlogs and i will see you in my next video